Hello everybody and welcome back. So today I wanted to film a twist on a video I've done before, which was my makeup collection, if I weren't a beauty guru, which was actually originally created by Jamie Page. But today I wanted to make a slight alteration, emphasis on the slight, and I'm going to be doing my makeup bag if I was not a YouTuber. So I packed this makeup bag up this morning as if I were a different me in a different dimension, which was fun and kind of creepy to think about, but I'm going to bring you through the products in here, kind of explain my thought process, and I'm also going to be applying a look using the products in here. So before we dive into this makeup bag, I'd love for you to subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get into it. So let's dive in to the first pouch here, which contains most of my cheek and complexion items. I'm a little bit nervous for some reason. Today, I have high anxiety because I'm going to game four tonight of the playoffs. I've been really into the playoffs this time around. It's really exciting with the Battle of Alberta. It's a huge deal for us over here. So I'm going to a game tonight. My heart is already pounding. <laughs> Anyways, so in here, I have a couple primers. I have a mini Milk Hydro Grip. This is awesome for events, so I know I would have this. Plus, I love that it comes in a little mini, so it just fits in here with no issue. I would also have my Wet n Wild Impossible Primer if I wanna go for something more blurring. It mattifies, it hydrates, it makes for a perfect base for lasting makeup, and it's also silicone free. So it's just an amazing all around primer. And my first pick for this one would have been the Orc Glow Lust, but the Orc Glow Lust is a bit big and very heavy for a makeup bag. So I opted for the Iconic London Radiance Booster instead. This is a very similar product but it's just a little bit thinner in consistency and the Auric to me feels a lot more luxe through the packaging and the consistency of the actual product, but it does a similar thing to this. So this one is just more bag friendly. Since I am going to be going to the game later, I am going to do a little mixture of these two. I'm gonna put on the Hydro Grip and some of the Iconic London Radiance Booster. I'm gonna take around two pumps of the Hydro Grip and now I'm going to take a little bit of this on the high points. I'm using the shade Champagne something, or is it Champagne Glow? I also like to bring it up like almost to my under eye on the outer part because I love when my skin glows right there. I think it's so pretty. And I'm also going to put some down the bridge of my nose. So now moving on to foundation, I actually just packed one because in the past, before I got into this job, I was always a creature of habit when it came to foundations. I would find one and I would stick with it until it would get discontinued. I just wasn't really picky. I just wanted one that was reliable and that I can just throw on without thinking about it. So I think I would still be in the phase of using the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This one's amazing. It blurs out my skin. It's also very thin wearing, but it offers a lot of coverage but it's also um, adjustable. If you want just a little layer of it, you're golden as well. I'm going to be using the shade 5.9 perhaps. We'll see if this is a little bit dark from where my skin tone is at. But yes, this is my choice foundation. Okay, I think that's gonna be good. Now for concealers, I slid in two. So similarly to foundations, I was always a creature of habit with concealers as well. So I know I would still have this kicking around. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Concealer. Still fantastic. I am so happy I recently picked another one up. It's just such a great concealer. And I would actually have the Clé de Peau one as well. This one's fantastic. If I don't want to go in with a foundation, it's really good at spot correcting because it does have a matte finish. So this one does an incredible job at masking the appearance of imperfections. Uh, whether it's scarring or fresh acne or anything like that. The matte finish will stop the light from kind of glowing off of it and bringing more attention to that area. It just makes it look a lot more diffused. I am going to be using this one today just because I want more of a fuller coverage effect. This one right here is awesome for every day if you want to brighten it up under there, but you don't want it to be like full, full, full coverage. It kind of has more of a, a natural twist on it. I'm going to be using the shade 3 Beige. I'm just going to put some under my eyes and then I'm going to assess if I want to apply it to other areas of my face as well. I don't think so. I think just under the eyes and I like to apply it with a brush um, or a dry sponge or my finger. I don't like it when I use like a damp sponge with it. But this is a Moda Accentuate brush. It's really awesome. I just 
pat and swirl it around and it does an incredible job at just blending it out very quickly. I don't even have to worry about it, I just know it's gonna look good. Next for powder, I actually only packed one and that was the e.l.f. finishing powder. This powder is honestly amazing and it looks amazing on top of any concealer and it also looks incredible all over the face so this is a perfect one and done kind of powder and it also looks extra amazing over top of that concealer I just went in with. It has like a nice blurring property and it's also fun to be able to set a very expensive concealer with something that costs like four dollars. Splurge and save, baby. Splurge and save. That is one of the most valuable lessons my mom taught me. Like it just completely masks out any texture under my eyes. Hello, amazing. I'm gonna put that to the side because I'm going to be using some cream products later along, later along, later, later. <laughs> Ugh, nervous. Now to define my cheeks, you're gonna be really tired of hearing this combo, but yeah, you guessed it. The Fenty Beauty Amber Bronzer, as well as the Glowish Bronzer. These two together just are the perfect combo. I just, I can't, there isn't anything that compares to it right now. I first use the Fenty Beauty in the hollows of my face, wherever I want to define. So I contour up with this, just minimally. I mostly just keep this on my cheekbones and occasionally on my jawline. Then I go in with the Huda Beauty Glowish Bronzer in the shade 02 Medium, just to add more warmth and glow. It's just one of the best bronzers. I threw in just one little highlighter. This is the Trini London Candlelight Highlighter. It's perfect for a makeup bag, it's small, and it's such a beautiful formula. It's very thin wearing and melts right into your base, but it still looks very glossy. And it also sets down so it doesn't feel glossy once it's on your skin. It almost has a powdery finish. I feel like I was glowy enough, especially with that um, iconic London stuff underneath. But for this video, let's double layer the glow. <laughs> While I'm here, I'm also gonna throw it into my inner corners. And now for blushes, of course, I could not just add in one. I feel like I would have been pretty influenced by TikTok, so I wanted to throw in two of the Rare Beauty liquid blushes as well as Rose Ink Foxglove and a Patrick Ta Duo. My two favorite shades in the Rare Beauty liquid blushes are Hope and Entice. No, Encourage. So this is Encourage, this is Hope. I'll spread them out a little bit more so you can see what it would look like on my, on my skin. Why is my hand bruised? What did I do? Foxglove is a bit more orangey, right there. And you can also use this on your lips. Multi-purpose products are awesome for makeup bags. I grabbed the wrong Patrick Ta color, but I would have, oh, she's different. This one, it's so pretty. It's like a nice wine berry color, kind of like sun-kissed. There's the duo here, so the cream and the powder. Today, I am going to be wearing a red jersey, so I don't know. I feel like, uh, I don't know. I'm feeling hope. Hopeful. So, let's go in with this. I like to add a little dot in the palm of my hand. I don't like to apply it directly on my skin because these are very pigmented, as we all know. So, I like to prevent adding too much by doing this. And then I take like a looser brush and I swirl it around, pat the excess off to see how much I have on there, and then I'll go on my cheeks. That's cute. I haven't used this color in a minute. And they're also really fun to mix and match. Like you can create your own custom color with them. That's, oh. My Tamagotchi just pooped. Um, and now for my brows, I think I would have had these two products in here. This was actually the first brow pencil I was obsessed with. So I think I would still be using this one. I remember saying this in my full face of Dior Beauty. This was my brow pencil throughout high school and I couldn't have a job because I was dancing way too much. <clears throat> I don't know what's happening to my voice. I've been too social this weekend. I don't know who I am. I don't recognize myself. Um, but yeah, I couldn't have a job because I was a competitive dancer. I didn't have hardly any hours outside of school. I was always in dance classes and such. 
um, but I would go up and down country roads and I would pick up bottles just so I could afford this brow pencil. It's just so good. It goes in all nice and powdery and a little bit of it goes a long way. Like you don't run through this pencil that quickly. And then my brow gel would have been the Kosas Air Brow. It's just very easy to use. I don't like to take too much time with my brows, but these two products just make them look perfected for, for what I need them to do. And the last thing that was in here was my eye primer, and this is the About Face one. This is called the Shadow Fix, and I really like this one because it's a smoothing eye primer. I feel like it does an equal job as the Fenty Beauty one. I just like how this one kind of has a powdery finish to it, and it just smooths out the texture of your lids prior to going in with um, eyeshadow. So it makes it for an easy blend. And that's it for the little pouch number one. On the side of my makeup bag, I had my little Makeup by Mario eyeshadow palette. I would for sure have this. It just is a good set of neutrals. You kind of have everything that you need for a warm toned look. It also has some nice neutrals in here. I also threw in this Divine Skies eyeshadow palette from M Cosmetics. This is from the Masterpiece Collection. This is just a perfect little neutral palette. Um, and it has a good amount of little shimmers in here, just kind of what you need. And I also included another M Cosmetics product. This is the Cosmic Pearl Dewy Eyeshadow in the shade Wish. This is just perfect. I'm thinking about rocking a red lip later on tonight, so I think I'm going to keep the eyes a little bit more on the simple side. While I'm cooking up an eye look in my brain, uh, I'm going to set my face using the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip and Set Spray. This is my favorite setting spray. I feel like it makes a huge difference. And this plus the Hydro Grip Primer makes for a solid, solid long wearing base. One last thing before zooming you guys in for the eye portion, I'm going to set my face using the e.l.f. powder. I wish I remembered to do this before the setting spray, but that's okay. So like I said, I'm going to keep it pretty simple. I think I'm just going to use this one shade from the M Cosmetics palette all over the lid, kind of like I did in a recent video of mine prior to going in with shimmers and the About Face fluid eye paints. I think this will look good with a red lip. I know it will, because it's a perfect neutral color. So for my eyeliners, I would have two shades in the Melt Slick Waterline Eye Pencils. I would have Cacao for my brown one, and Ivory if I wanted to brighten up my waterline and for my black I would have the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Smoky Eyeliner. It's for real one of the best black eyeliner pencils but I'm going to be using this one by Melt today. And to spice this up a little bit I'm dampening this little eyeliner brush and I'm going to be using the M Cosmetics Dewy Eyeshadow in the shade Wish. I'm just going to dedicate one little area to dampening. And I want to finish my eyeliner with this. I think it'd be fun. So I'm just going to create a little line of this glow. Just like so. I think that's really pretty. And here are the eyes all finished. I really like that eyeliner. I used to do that all the time. I need to bring that back. But now for my mascaras, I decided to put in these two. So the first one here is the Rare Beauty Mascara. Pardon my cat. Ren! He says, hey, you didn't put a brow intermission in yet. This one's really, really nice lengthening and volumizing, and it's also very long wearing. It doesn't smudge or crumble, um, and it also feels very lightweight in the lashes, which is very important to me, and it also holds on to the curl of your lashes because of that lightweight texture.
And then for my lower lash mascara, I put in the Annabelle Skin One. It's very tiny and small, perfect for a makeup bag, and it also just does a great job for lower lashes. Really nice and precise and long wearing. And it's also buildable, which I enjoy because I like to add a couple layers to the outer portion, especially if I'm wearing an eyeliner. I feel like it just helps to bring out the eyes outwards even more. And here are the eyes all finished. What do you guys think? Subtle, but a little bit elevated. <laughs> so for lip liners, I know I would have quite a few. <laughs> so let's go through them. The first one here is Melt Bear. Such a great one. A similar color, but a different texture is the Mac Oak right there. It's a little bit more cool toned. Then I'd have the Makeup by Mario Angela lip pencil, which is kind of like a nice brick red. I would also have MAC Subculture, which is a nice pinky option, that one. And then lastly, I would have a red one. This one is from Melt Cosmetics. This is the shade Corazon. So there they all are. Really nice selection. So now let's move on to my lip products. For my nude option, I would have Teddy 2.0 from MAC. I would have the Dior Forever Lip Glow Oil in the shade Rosewood has a nice little tiny little tint and it pairs really nicely with some of these lip liners, especially this Angela one. It really brings out that undertone and it makes for a really unique look. I'm not gonna swatch a clear lip gloss, but I would have the Kosas Wet Lip Oil in the shade Jellyfish. I would have this Glossier Ultra Lip in the shade Villa, which is my favorite. And it's a really nice pinky hydrating option. Pairs really well with MAC Strip Down, not Strip Down, Subculture. This is one of my recent favorites. It's the e.l.f. Glossy Lip Stain in the shade Power Mauve. And it's awesome because it stains your lips. I've been wearing this a lot this weekend. Every, every time I go out, I've been wearing that guy. Really nice. I like to pair it with either one of these or Angela. And then I would have two red lipstick options just because of the Battle of Alberta right now. I'd have this very vibrant one, which is Serrated Bite from About Face. This is like, if neon red was a thing, this is this is what it would, it's so vibrant, it's insane. Right there. Or Uncensored from Fenty Beauty, which is just a little bit darker in comparison. This is still my favorite red lipstick of all time. And here's everything I would have for lips. I'm going to try a combo on for you guys and then I'm going to switch over to a red. So I'm first gonna go in with Melt Bear. And this e.l.f. Glossy Lip Stain. See, look how pretty that color is. Isn't that to die for? But yeah, this has been my lip combo of choice. So if I get nervous later, I might change into this one instead of going in with a red. I'm going to apply this red lip liner. And when I'm wearing a red lipstick, I always line the entire perimeter of my lips instead of what I usually do. This is just so I get a precise application. And then I'm gonna go in with Fenty one, Fenty Uncensored. This now looks like a holiday look. <laughs> and lastly, before I repack everything, I have a few residual things in here. So I have a little sharpener from Nabla. I have my eyelash curler. And in the back over here, I have a Lano Lips lip balm, some duo lash glue. I actually have a little freck in here to make full freckles. I have an eyebrow or mustache razor, pair of tweezers, and a bobby pin and um, nail file. This stuff just stays in here always. Oh, and this. My little Dear Dahlia mirror, it's so tiny and perfect. But there we have it. Here is my makeup bag if I was not a YouTuber. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and its concept. Let me know if you'd like to see this again in the future. I think it was really fun to think about. But if you did enjoy today's video, giving it a like would help me out very much. I'll also link everything I used as well as the makeup bag in the description down below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.